Thanks for stopping by today. New wood turning video tomorrow. Today, Kelvin's going to take his first try on our new High Boy EX6. <laughs> and he's excited for it. Cowboy today. It's a beautiful looking bike. A little on the small side for a six foot guy like myself. I had to raise the handlebars in the seat to almost maximum in order for me to fit. It's still a little tight, but I like it. Looks good. Got it in pedal assist one. <laughs> Going downhill, got to 28. Going uphill, no pedal. Goes about 13, 14, get uphill. Pedal assist too and see what happens here. Pedal assist two was about 23 on the level. No pedal. Just throttle. And when I pedal. And pedal assist two takes about, I'd say, six or eight strokes in order for it to catch up, but it does catch up. See, the lake looks good today. Let's check it out. Right. It's a beautiful sight coming into the lake. Yeah nice sunny day 60 something degrees yes it's, look at that view it's nice yes. All right. let's, let's get her back up here we're going, going around So far, had no problems going up hills. Gets up the hill about 13, 14, no pedal, just throttle. Got it in pedal assist five now, going around. See what happens. I'm going up a pretty good hill here. Got it in five. Pedaling up. Taking me a little bit to get up there, but it's pretty easy. So I can handle it. Once I get to the top, the motor kicks in.
on the open road. It definitely goes, it's up to 35 going downhill. Tell you, this bike will fly. Yes. Going uphill, just throttle and pedal assist five mode, 16, 17. Not bad. I'm not afraid to get out there. Here we go. Let's do it. I like the tires on it. Makes it smooth. Not a bumpy ride. The front shocks work. When I hit the brakes, shocks work good. Sometimes I, I felt like I, I should be pedaling. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I just ride and coast it. Yes. It's nice. today enjoyed every minute of it <laughs> yeah okay this is Phil now it's my turn to give this a try looks like we got a twist throttle looks like we're in pedal assist one over here Kelvin's got it the Shimano shifter and three well, it takes right off even in pedal assist one of course we adjusted the seat down and the handlebars down from Kelvin Pedal assist one, throttle only, 22 miles an hour, 23, 25. I don't think I turned on the headlight, so. I best do that. One came right up that hill just fine. Slow down, never stop unless you have to. Why would you? People are always parking in the bike lane. I'm not sure if Kelvin took you down to the lake. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go a different way this time. We're gonna take it right here. I haven't done that before.
Well, I don't feel like the motor is helping at all. Let me change up the pedal assist here. There we go. Okay, there we go. I was still in one, that's why. Throttle only. 24 miles an hour. Going up a little hill now. 23, 22, 21. pedal whoa foot came off the pedal it takes about two three revolutions for the motor to kick in I've got the Shimano gears in three Got a big old hill coming up here. I think Kelvin might have gone this way. I'm not pedaling, this is throttle only, big hill. Well, that's pretty impressive. That's a, that's a pretty big Pretty big hill, pretty steep, fairly long. Throttle only. Came up at about 13. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, I'm gonna pedal here. We're in gear three. We're in pedal assist three. Taking a left, or taking a right, I should say. Throttle only coming up this little hill. Pretty impressive. Another hill. This is a 500 watt motor and it's doing very well. I'm always afraid they won't have enough torque to get me where I want to go, but I'm doing pretty good. So how's the bike fit me? Well, I'm about 5'8", 200 pounds. I used to be 5'10", but now I don't seem to be anymore. And I got the seat set as low as it'll go. And I have to stand on my tippy toes when I come to a stop. Or get off the bike, one or the other. Between the seat and the handlebars is a little tight. Not bad, not bad, but a little tight. I kind of feel like I'm crowding my shoulders. I'm not reaching out. Now the handlebars are adjustable. They can tilt forward, they can tilt backwards. Right now they're kind of just in the middle. I'm going to switch up to a higher gear. Make pedaling a little easier. I don't notice any ghost pedaling at 15. Gear 6. Pedal assist 3. I don't notice ghost pedaling, so that's nice. 
No, I didn't even slow down there hardly. That's because this is my neighborhood and I know what to expect from the traffic. What do I expect from this bike? Well, I expect just about what I'm getting, I think. Maybe, uh, maybe I've got a little more torque than I thought I would. I didn't really have any trouble on any of the hills. I'm going back because I only have a couple of bars. It just jumped back up to three bars, but when I'm using the throttle, it's only two. Hello. Hello. Time to wrap up the review of the High Boy EX6, and we'll talk about our likes and dislikes. Kelvin, what do you have to say about it? I think it's a little tight for a six foot guy. Um, tight where? Tight close where the handlebars and the seat oh. come together. Yeah. So when I'm trying to pedal, right in my, here. Uh, knees sometimes might hit my hit the handlebars. Other than that, um, I have to extend it all the way up to the maximum on the handlebars and on the seat. So it's obviously for a shorter person. Other than that, it looks it looks good. I like I like everything else about it. Um, just a little just a little too tight for me a little small for you well i can tell you that i feel the same way kelvin does which is surprising because the seat is a little high for me and it's down as low as it'll go now my tippy toes have to touch the ground that's the best i can do and i agree with kelvin that it's a little tight between the handlebars and the seat now the handlebars are adjustable you see there's a, a scale on here where you can lean them forward, you can lean them backwards. We can raise the handlebars completely or lower them. We've both found the best positions for us and it's still just a little tight between the handlebars and the seat. So that's probably the biggest negative. It's got a 500 watt rear hub motor, which I prefer 750, but on the other hand, this did just fine. I was very impressed by what it could do on the hills. I love that it has a, a real tail light wired into the bike, not, not some battery operated, operated stuff. I like the, uh, the display, it's easy to read, gives you plenty of information. You can see we took it on an eight mile trip today between the two of us. I love these grips. Not all bikes have those and, and this does. And it's got the good Shimano shifter that we're used to. It's got the headlight headlight switch, which is a lot of times you just have to hold down the mode button or something. But this has a separate switch and a nice loud horn to go with. The headlight's nice and bright. Tail light and brake light work fine. Nice and bright. I like the way the kickstand works. When we can remember to put it up, sometimes we forget that part. Uh, it's nice and solid. Some of them aren't quite as solid as that. The wiring is good. I'd say the wiring is good. I don't have any issues with it. There's not a lot hanging out all over the place. It's got this extra little reflector on there. I'm not sure why you need that when you have a headlight. But they gave it to us. Kind of drives me crazy that it's not dead center. But it can't be dead center. Love the tires. 4 by 20 inch tires give you lots of traction lots of stability on the road or on the gravel driveway the battery is a 48 volt 15 amp hour i believe so that's kind of average so what we have here is a a good solid average bike at a really really reasonable price maybe the least expensive bike we've had and it's on sale for $799. Now, I don't know if there's going to be a discount code. I would certainly check the description of this video for any links, discount codes, anything else that might be available to you if you're interested in this bike. It's a good looking bike. It seems to be well built. It's got a comfortable seat. Easy to operate the seat to withdraw the battery to put it on charge. The battery itself has a battery scale right on it in addition to the one that's on the dashboard so that's nice i'd say for the money this is a heck of a bike i just can't believe the power torque that it had getting up all those hills it just was not an issue at all it's got the fenders you don't get fenders and 
comfortable seats and everything that this bike has to offer on a cheap bike so this is this is cheap $7.99 I'd give this high boy a good look okay that about wraps it up new wood turning video tomorrow thanks for tuning in today I really appreciate it so for now this is Phil Shady Acres Wood Shop signing off <laughs>